channel. It's E is Linda Plays News. And today I will be giving you the most trending and talk about topics. Um, actually, there's a lot, all right, that is brought to us by PCN. But for this video, I will be giving one, okay? I will be giving one so that um, you will not get bored or you will not wait and wait until the video will be, um, will end. Alright, so I will be giving you one and I will make another video for another trending topic and most talk about topic. Alright, don't worry. I'll take care of you. Okay, so guys, let's start uh, for today. Um, one of the most trending topic or the most talk about news in the crypto world is um, this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News. Crypto exchanges should not take a hard look at IP address masking services. All right. The New York Attorney General recently issued a report on its fact-finding inquiries to multiple virtual currency trading platforms believed to be operated in New York. One of its many interesting um, findings was how virtual private networks or VPNs may permit market manipulation. VPNs are a critical tool for privacy-minded cryptocurrency traders, as well as the only method for some traders to access these markets in countries such as China. Based on the NYAG's report, should crypto exchanges assume that VPN access is no longer permissible? Right. Not necessarily, but they need to look at the issue in the broader context of their overall compliance program. Stepping back, the NYAG's focus on VPNs was in the context of the effectiveness of access controls to ensure fairness and integrity and protect customers. Access controls start with basic know you customer or KYC processes to confirm a new customer's identity. While eight of the trading platforms which responded to the inquiry required customers to submit various forms of personal information and government-issued identification before trading, um, Bitfinex or Bitfinex requires little more than an email address to trade between exchanges, as opposed to withdrawing or depositing fiat currency. Tidex or Tidex, which states that it prohibits users from the United States and is currently filing with the Financial C Crimes Enforcement Network to become a money services business, requires only a name, email address, and phone number. A common additional access control for online businesses is to monitor IP addresses for users to determine their approximate geographic location and track suspicious behavior coming from a particular computer connection. So for example, transactions in multiple accounts coming from one IP address may be suspicious. Simultaneously access from IP addresses which are not in proximity could be a sign of fraud or cyber attack. IP addresses can also be masked using VPNs, which um, route connectivity through a third-party network. This permits an individual to feign residency in a different jurisdiction or open several accounts and pretend that they are not related. Companies which, um, which block VPN access, such as Netflix and Hulu, most likely are screening access against a known list of VPN servers. These controls are not foolproof since VPN services often change server IP addresses to stay one step ahead um, as those using VPN to access Facebook or crypto exchanges from China where unlicensed VPNs are illegal can validate. While most of the exchanges that responded to the NYAG reported that they monitor access by IP address only to claim to limit VPN access. The two exchanges, Bitstamp and Polonix, have both withdrawn from various jurisdictions due to regulatory issues. Wash trading. In addition to making sure that IP addresses from New York are not provided access to unauthorized exchanges, 
the NYAG raised concern that crypto exchanges, which neither require documentation to execute a trade or nor take active measures to block access via VPN, may not be able to address manipulative or abusive trading activity. For example, one individual may open up two accounts and engage in wash trades, which occur when traders buy and sell the same asset repeatedly to create the false appearance of market activity to move prices. Unfortunately, wash trades are believed to be common in crypto markets because exchanges are ranked based on trading volume. One report estimates over 7 of the top 10 exchanges engaged in excessive wash trading from 12 times to over 100 times their true volume, and one is believed to inflate its trading 4,400 times. So, money laundering. VPN access can also pose risk from an anti-money laundering perspective. Virtual exchange, uh, currency exchangers have been subject to the Bank Secrecy Act's anti-money laundering requirements since as early as 2011. Failure to comply with KYC requirements can result in large penalties, such as the $700,000 fine assessed by FinCEN against Ripple Labs in 2015. The Office of Foreign Assets Control has also stated that it will treat digital currencies the same as via currencies and sanctions violations carry strict liability, which does not require intent to violate the law to be proven. Vincent has been focused on IP addresses mentioned in suspicious activity reports for many years. In 2014, the agency reported that an investigation of IP addresses mentioned in SARS found 975 hits for possible or network addresses corresponding to reports totaling nearly $24 million in likely fraudulent activity. However, before the advent of cryptocurrencies, it was unlikely that Fenson would expect the filing of a SAR just because of the use of different VPN addresses. Some banks have restrictive VPN access to websites, but policies differ between firms. So new rules unlikely, but it will be interesting to see if the purely online nature of cryptocurrencies and perhaps the growth of digital banks will result in heightened U.S. regulatory scrutiny of VPNs. It, uh, it appears unlikely that prescriptive federal VPN rules will be passed anytime soon given the conservative approach taken by regulators such as the Securities and Exchange Commission and Commodity Futures Trading Commission on more fundamental issues related to cryptocurrency. As of today, the NYAG report ostensibly is only a platform to educate the public and provide a number of questions that consumers should ask to protect themselves when considering various exchanges. Although three of the four exchanges which failed to respond to the inquiry, Binance, Gate.io, and Kraken, were reported to the New York State Department of Financial Services for potential violation of the state's virtual currency regulations. It is unclear whether the NIAG will report a uh, report will encourage the DFS or other regulators to force digital currency exchanges to prohibit VPNs. <clears throat> All right. Now Rather, cryptocurrency exchanges will most likely to be forced to recon with VPN access as part of regulatory or law enforcement actions for market manipulation, which could come any day. The DFS in February 2018 already reminded virtual currency businesses to implement measures to deter market manipulation. And the U.S. Department of Justice, or DOJ, has reportedly been working with the CFTC on a criminal probe of possible market manipulation in crypto markets since at least the summer. The CFTC proved that it takes market manipulation related to cryptocurrencies seriously as early as 2015 when it settled was trade, uh, was trade charges against Terra Exchange for the fairly innocuous offense of reporting one test Bitcoin swap transaction as a real transaction. So conclusion, cryptocurrency exchanges operating in the U.S. 
or doing business with customers in the U.S. should promptly review their policies for verifying the money and monitoring authorized access. If your business desires to continue to permit mass VPN addresses, the, de the decision should be made in consideration of the market manipulation or on-time money laundering charges would have on your firm's businesses. For example, facial recognition access controls might be considered as an alternative method to prevent one person trading across several accounts. However, if your exchange currently permits um, permits user to open multiple accounts has no market manipulation policy or is actively encouraging market manipulation to increase your market cap rankings VPN may only be footnote in your eventual inform enforcement action all right so guys that has been the news for today now I believe that you want more of these news and you want to be updated every day so guys please visit preferredcurrency.news yes visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates all right so guys um this is this information is presented as news and education so you must do your own final research to make your own decisions for yourself right okay so guys um if you subscribe you have you can use your preferred method you can use your paypal for a monthly recurring for 15 dollars per month fiat or if you like you can use the coinbase option that's 180 dollars annual subscription to be paid with crypto your favorite cryptocurrency right so if you like you can contact us through the website your name and your email is required and of course your message and just hit send but if you'd like to get through directly to the person behind preferredcurrency.news his name is Donald Lewis or Donald the Guru you can call his number at 1801601 you can contact him on whatsapp it's 1801-471-6939 you can add him on skype his skype id is Donald capital fcda you can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto you can join our telegram channel which is preferred crypto dot news and you can um, send a private message to Donald Lewis at preferred crypto in your telegram account all right so guys please don't forget to visit preferred currency dot news but don't worry because below this video um, in the information box or the description I will be posting all necessary links so that you can visit them for you to be able to know what's the best website or what are other websites that you can open or you can check in order for you to have more information and updates about your favorite currency all right so guys when you subscribe to preferred currency news you can also be one of our affiliates just click this link and register if you don't have any account or if you don't have um if here okay here um this is the affiliate section of preferredcurrency.news if you are not an affiliate yet but wish to become one you will need to apply so to apply you must be a registered user on this site so you must subscribe if you have an existing account on this side please log in if not please register all right so guys that easy okay now let me um, show you a glimpse of what will you be getting with your $15 monthly or $180 annual subscription all right now guys we will be sending you a newsletter that's via email every day 12 hours before we post videos here on YouTube all right so if ever you're one of our subscriber and you are watching this video maybe you already knew this um, news right okay so guys this one um, you will be getting the newsletter again that's via email every day we will just prompt you yeah so you don't need to um, to think and think what what will you, you be searching or 
um, what website would you be opening for you to be updated, right? Okay, so guys, I believe that the most important or the most unique or the most amazing um, part of the newsletter of the day besides the articles and news is the Donald's research list. Let me show you what's the Donald's research list, guys. So guys, um, the Donald's research list is a list, is a complete list of the tokens and coins. Right, you heard me. Tokens and coins, so it is all here. All right now when you open this spreadsheet as you can see there are a lot of colors right guys when you see a lot of colors it means um, if you see a lot of blue and green colors in a row that means that it is really a good status of the token or coins all right because um, guys I believe that um, um, the token or coin that have most have green or blue cells as you go across that particular row for the particular coin They are the ones that deserve the very most um, The very most of your time their own research, right? You need to research more on these coins or um, token, right? So let's not go far Let's discuss Bitcoin all right, by the way, guys, if you can see a token or coin that I have read, it has a negative news. Orange or tan, neutral. Yellow or fair, green have good news, and blue are showing the best news, right? So as we can see, Bitcoin as of today, um, USD recent price, it's 6406.9240 Share of total market volume, it's 0.32928514. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 65%. It's already crossing up 50. Number of positive technical indicators, three. 24 hours current volume versus price, none. Seven days volume versus price is 13.06. 30 days volume versus price, it's 6.64. And percent issued, it's 82.71%. All right. Now, if you'd like to research on a specific coin or token, you can just simply click Control F on your keyboard and then type down the name of the coin that you want to research. All right. As for me, I want to research about the status of EOS. All right. So for EOS, US the recent price is 5.38858557. Um share of total market volume 0 0.054 17426 Google searches compared to the past seven days it's 83 percent it's crossing up 50 right number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours volume versus price zero seven days volume versus price it's 1961.44 30 days volume versus price it's 5.14 and percent should it's 90.06 percent all right what else um let me see. I want to know about DAV. Okay, so here. DAV token, USD recent price, it's 0.00674501. Share total market volume, 0 0.00001797. Google searches, 0%. It's also crossing up 50. Number of positive technical indicators, 2. 24 hours volume versus price is 25.06. 7 days volume versus price is 3.87. 30 days monthly volume versus plot price, 0. And percent assured it's 32.94%. Alright, so guys, as you can see, Bitcoin, EOS, and DAV is showing the best news because they are colored blue right so that easy guys that's just an example okay that's very easy right very um, convenient you just you don't need to hassle yourself to go or to open a lot of websites for you to know the specific uh, or the status of your coin or token and other coins or token as well because you can just you can just um, look and look and look if you want to know about the status of all the tokens or coins then it's already here and you don't need to go on and open a lot of websites as I said right less hassle 
um, very convenient you can access it anywhere anytime you want right and by the way you can have a copy of the Donald's research list if you'd like right okay so guys that's it I think this is your best option so that it can help your research right it can help your research but by the way this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell okay we here at EOS marketplace news we are not financial advisors so we are not advising you or we are not giving you any um, any recommendation to buy such coin or token it's um, better if or it's best that you research each one for yourself and then you can decide all right so guys that's ha um, that has been for today for episode today thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that like button all right thank you so much this has been alex i hope to see you soon again